All right, so hello, hello. Uh, good night, everyone. Good night. All right, so last class of the date, all right? Okay, so far we only have, uh, let's see, eight participants. So let's say I have Yvette Siliesar. Is that the right pronunciation, Yvette Siliesar? Yes? Yes. Nice, so I have Maria Gonzalez. Of course, mm -hmm. Gonzalez, right? <laughs> nice. Um, uh, I had Mr. Felipe Miron. Nice. So you like to you you like to watch a lot, right? That's why your last name over there, right? Okay. So next one, I have Gilberto Ramos. Let's see, Mr. Ana Batices. It says Gilbert, but I'm showing a, you know, a lady image over there, so I'm confused now. All right, and then my colleague, Jimmy, Jose David Magaña, Mr. David. So, so Mr. David Magaña, do you go by David or Jose, or would you like me to call you Mr. Magaña? Uh, David. Oh, David, Usually. okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. And we have, uh, who else do we have? Jose Perez Rivas. Mr. Joseph Perez, sir. Yeah. So let me ask you, how do you say, how do you say tocayo in English? Like, for example, Jose Perez is one for me. How do you say that in English? Any idea? No idea over here? No idea. No idea. Problem. You know, that's going to be the first thing we're going to share with you, okay? Next one, we have Miss Iris Palacio. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Next one is Janet Morales. Okay. So, so far, those are uh, the, the ones we have. So, did, did I mention you, Ingrid? Not right. Hi. Hello. All right, so let me introduce myself in here. So my name is Jose Alfaro, so Jose Francisco Alfaro. I'm a teacher, English teacher. I'm also a history teacher. I work at a private school from Monday to Friday. I, uh, you know, because I'm working with you right now, I'm not supposed to say the name of the school, but if you ask, I can let you know. So I work with a high school students, all right, and this is what I've been doing for the last nine years. Okay, I've been a teacher for the for the last nine years. You know, you, you may see that I'm I'm young, but I'm not, I'm not that young. Okay, I'm 30 years old. So that being said, let me ask you: uh, Are you familiar with the feature? Okay. Okay, or the characteristic that Zoom has to raise the hand. Do you know how to raise the hand, but not like this? I mean, using, using Zoom. Can you like raise your hand? Like using uh, Zoom? Okay, so let me uh, restate the, the, I mean, the sentence here. Is this the first time you are studying English. If it's yes, raise your hand. No? No. All right. Is this your first time studying online? Yes or not? Is that yes or no? First time studying, okay, no, okay. So that means that you have been with Inglés Corporativo before. Is that correct? Yes? Yes. yes. So, so, yes. Let me, so let me ask uh, Jose, Mr. Rivas. Yes. Okay. So what's the percentage that you need to get in the platform, you know, to pass 
to the next course, to the next module. Uh, we need to, to we, we, sorry, we score need to be 80% or more, basically. Okay, so the minimum passing score is 80%, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. And uh, so you're supposed to complete at least, let me share the screen with you very quickly in here. And uh, that's the one. Okay. So let's see, Jose, are, are you able to see the screen I'm sharing with you right now? Yeah, I can be able to see. Okay, so every single time we have a class, you should have this a platform open. In case you have any questions, you have any doubts, you know, you can easily ask me. Again, I can, uh, you know, scroll down and we can address the specific question that you have. Okay? Since you guys, you know, are familiar with the platform, I'm not going to spend time explaining how it works. The idea, but I need to mention this. The idea is that you should complete at least section one, two, and three in the first two weeks. Okay, at least. So let's say that we start on October the 12th, which is this week. By next week on Thursday, October 22nd, everyone needs to have completed section one, two, and three including that midterm exam. Okay? Okay. Nice. But if you want to like complete everything, you know, one week, go ahead, please. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. All right? You know, that's actually better. Nice. So I have 13 participants right now. So let me explain to you the, uh, the, you know, the class, you know, dynamics and everything. Because, you know, but before I go, let, let me ask uh, one of you in here. Let's see, uh, Miss Maria Gonzalez. All right, so let me unmute your microphone in there. All right, so can you hear me? All right, go ahead, please. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Could you please share with us the experience that you had have in English Corporativo with other teachers, you know, because I want to have you, the feedback from you, okay, to do things the way they did it and even better. So that's the point in here. Um, okay. okay. Anything that you would like me to, to do? In English or Spanish, that's okay. <laughs> so no um, problem. Okay. It's a good ex experience. And my difficult is to speak English. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Yes. But I I understand uh, most a, a little bit. Uh, a so 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 <laughs> okay i see i see i see your point in there okay so we're gonna have uh speaking and also listening practices in this class okay thank you so the platform is gonna be for you all right but we're going to do listening speaking practices okay in here okay. nice what about thank you yvette thank you so anything that you want me to uh, help you with um, I I I can the I can the writing and and reading because I don't speak it. Um, um, so it's <laughs> difficult. It's oh, difficult it's, to speak. It's difficult to speak. Okay. Yeah. No, no problem. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay, uh, speaking comes with time. You know, it's practice. Okay? okay? 
it's like a baby, you know, they start, you know, to, to say a few words, then they say a few uh, you know, phrases, and then complete okay. sentences, and then you cannot like quiet a baby, right? <laughs> they just speak and speak. That happens all the time. Okay, so okay. I'm going to share with you the first activity in the WhatsApp, okay, in the WhatsApp group in here. And that's the first thing. First thing would be the word of the night. The word, I would say, the, the word or phrase of the night. There you go. So, Felipe, could you check your WhatsApp group right now? And please let me know if you're able to see the phrase I just shared with you. Can you see it, sir? Yeah. Yo, so, Felipe, what's the message over there? Can you read it back to us, sir? In the WhatsApp group? Let me see. All right. All right, so the word. So let me tell you this. The first thing we're going to do every single class is to study a vocabulary word. And I call that activity the word or phrase of the night. So what I'm going to do with you is to share one word or a phrase that's going to help you improve, you know, to, to be better when to speak English. So the word or phrase of the night. So that means that in your cell phone or your notebook, you're gonna have every week four vocabulary words, four vocabulary words. The first one will be this one. Okay, hold on. First, phrase of the night okay it's going to be to add to put fuel to the fire okay so i'm writing i'm writing this as we speak okay so that's the first one first phrase of the night and I'm going to ask, so let me make this, this screen a little bit bigger so I can have everyone on, on the same page in there. Okay, so Mirna, would you like to help us? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Uh, do you have your cell phone with you or your WhatsApp? Your WhatsApp. Huh? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Mirna, what's what's the phrase I share on the WhatsApp group? Could you please, you know, read it? Okay. Crash on the night to add the fuel to the fire. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, uh, another person me here. Okay, so Miss Yanet Morales, would you like to help us? So, what's the phrase that we have? Now, just to check on the pronunciation here. On WhatsApp. Hi. Yes. Yeah. I I don't have the I don't have the WhatsApp group, the English corporation. Okay. So not a problem. I don't I don't I I don't know what is the problem, but I don't have the the WhatsApp the English. Okay. Um can somebody share it with, with you right now so you can join? Can can someone send uh, send it to to you, please? What? Excuse me. 
Uh, let me ask uh, Felipe. Yes, teacher. Yes. Do me a favor, please. Send the WhatsApp invitation link to, uh, let's see, who was it? Noria, right? Or not? Okay. But that's okay. Not a problem. Okay. So let me share a screen with you right now okay so and you are supposed to write this down okay understood is that underst understood everyone okay so can you see this screen david are you able to see this screen david Yes. Uh, All right. So the phrase or word of the night is okay to add, to add fuel to the fire. Okay. Sorry, my bad thing here. And okay. So my question to you is what do you think? <laughs> the phrase means okay phrase you know i'm talking about this you know to add fuel to the fire any ideas you can say it in spanish that's okay so any ideas about this teacher yes go ahead um, this phrase um it's uh, refer se refiere a agregar digamos a, a un problema a porque problem. es 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 como hacerlo más eh, it's like eh, make, no make contribuir it, a, a eliminarlo make, si, si. yeah make it bigger you mean to make it bigger okay este um, okay eh, is is um uh, bueno, en, en, en Spanish. <laughs> That's okay. Let, let me, let me just... Un... Okay. I'm sorry, let me just interrupt you. Let's do a writing activity first. On the WhatsApp group, could you please just write, okay, just write what you think the, uh, to add fuel to the fire means. Just write it down, please. So right now, do not speak. Right now, we're going to just write it down. Okay? Okay. okay. So first, let's get familiar with the writing activity. I mean, with the writing and then the uh, speaking activity, please. Okay. So everyone, so everyone uh, go to the WhatsApp and write, you know, what you think the phrase means. So what is the meaning? In your own words, please. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to give you two or three minutes for this. So let me, let me just ask uh, somebody here. Uh, let's see. Felipe. All right, so Felipe says it's like if you if you write it in in Spanish, I'm gonna write it in English, you know, to help you. So it's like to 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 get to, to get mad, you said, because enojar means mad, you know, to to it's like to get mad. If you get mad, that means that you get angry, you know. That's that's what you're saying. It refers to make a problem a problem bigger. It, it, it means to make a problem big bigger. All right, nice. And then Gio says to see. It, it means we don't want to add any more firework. Okay, so could you explain this, uh, Gio, in Spanish or in English? You said to see me. 
it means we don't want to add any more firewood. That's what we said in Spanish, right? Great. And then we have, yeah, you got it, echar leña al fuego. That's right. The phrase means in Spanish, echar leña al fuego. You got it. And then Jose Cabrero says, maybe it's something about get a lot of knowledge that means the person gonna improve his skills. Okay. okay. It, get better means mejorar. Okay. You know, to improve. Okay. Anybody else? Nice. Uh, so let me just, you know, make this bigger, you know, expand this. And there we go. Now let me share a second, a second phrase with you. Okay. Let me add a, a, a second phrase with to you. Okay. All right, so let's see, uh, Mr. Angel Martinez. Sir, Mr. Martinez, are you here, sir? Sure. Yes. I write my, my expression my, in, the, in the WhatsApp. Are you, uh, Miss, uh -huh. is it that when you talk about a topic on, and the other person say other relations topic, is that is that your phrase? Yeah. All right, when you talk about a topic and the other person say the other relation topic. Um, no, what you what you mean is to contribute. Okay, to no, the no, it's necessary, it's not necessary. Okay. Okay. When you when you talk, uh, for example, uh, um, the government politics, mm -hmm. and the other people uh, talk about the other topic, but is is the the both topic are relation? Mm -hmm. Is the expression is is uh, is a uh, similar usual? Okay. Yeah. You, it, Mm -hmm. is is more is is to add full to to the fight for the conversation yeah exactly yeah if you exactly. said something about let's say uh one political party let's say on, on the uh, left wing you know and then you talk about the other person which is from the other political party yes you're adding yeah fuel to the fire that's correct yeah. Yeah, one person says uh, they stole money, etc., and then you say no, that's not true. Yes, you're adding <laughs> fuel to the fire. That's right. You got it. You gave me an example over there. I appreciate that. What about the next, the other one I have on the screen in there? To add salt to the injury. Look at my screen in there. The one I'm sharing with you. Can anybody read it? Let's see, Angel. Could you please read the screen I'm sharing with you? Teacher, hello. Hello, sir. Uh, voy entrando, todavía no me ubico sobre qué están tratando ahorita. Oh, no, not a problem. Look at the screen. Look at the PowerPoint I have. Look, look at oh. the PowerPoint I have. Can you okay. see it, sir? Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so help me read. Read this. What I'm highlighting. Help me read, please. This. Just read it. Speak. Oh, no. Excuse me? I no understand. Okay, uh, just speak, you know, just read, like, to add salt to the injury. A uh, little, little speak. Okay, so speak. To add salt to the injury but that's okay sir not a problem uh, okay. let's see thank you not a problem sir uh, somebody here was helping me it says
Okay. Nice. Uh, let me ask somebody here. Eduardo. No, but Eduardo is just okay, yeah. starting here. So, Mr. Mr. Magaña, David, okay. would you like to help us, sir? So, what, what about the second phrase, sir? This one. The second one. Um, to add salt on the injury. Uh, to add salt to the injury. Let me ask you, David. Do you know to what? To add salt on it. On the injury. I know. I I, I know that the phrase in 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 Spanish. <laughs> uh -huh. What is it? What is it? What is it? In English. In English. Uh, in English. Uh, uh, I, I, you don't know I, I, I have a little a, a little difficult uh, to sing the phrase okay. in, in English because in Spanish no le agregue sal la herida. <laughs> you got it, right? You got it. That's correct. To add salt to the injury. That's correct. Like the same thing, right? Uh, like this one. To add fuel to the to the fire and to add salt to the injury. Are like the same, right? The same thing, right? Am I correct? Yes? Okay. So 15 participants now. Activity number two for today. Okay? You ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thanks for replying to me. Now, I'm going to say something to you, okay? And that's gonna be a strange, okay? It's going to be a, a strange thing that I'm going to say. It's gonna be weird, okay? So are you at home right now? Are you in your houses? Say yes or no, please. Yeah. No. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, yes I am. Okay. Yes, you are, right? Yes, I am at home. You may say that. Question number two. Is someone using the bathroom right now? Is someone using the bathroom? No. No, no right now? No, right now. No. Yeah, that's what I said, you know, this is a, a strange question, you know, okay? So no one is using the bathroom, okay? Okay. So what if I say, so the bathroom is available? So available, so the bathroom is not occupied. So do this, please. So listen, please. Go to the bathroom or go where you have, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Hold on. Uh, wait just one second. Hold on. Because I want to see your faces in here or, or at least your cameras. Let me stop sharing the screen in here. That's actually better. Okay. Do you know what a toilet paper is? Toilet paper? Yes? Right? Nice. I'm not going to ask you, you know, what you use the toilet paper for. But I'm going to ask you this. Okay, go to the bathroom. And, and get toilet paper you know you just get some you know paper mm -hmm. okay ju just get it over there and try to clean your hands or something over there, okay so clean your hands okay and just right now please stand up go to the bathroom get some toilet paper and just come back please really yeah go ahead please go get some please <laughs> yeah. really yeah go uh -huh. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, please. You just, you know, get and roll it just like this and come back and then put, put some alcohol, you know, in your hands. Okay. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. We're ready now. So can you show me, can you show me the toilet paper, please? Like Yvette did. Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice with alcohol and everything it is nice 
All right, so what about the rest? What about you, Katy? Uh, what about you, Angel? So do you already have the toilet paper? Mr. Magaña, do you have the toilet paper with you? Can you show it to us, sir? Can you show it to us? The toilet paper? Toilet paper? Papel higiénico? Toilet paper, sir? We need yes. All right. Yeah, don't get me wrong, okay? No me malinterpreten. So don't get me wrong, okay? So let me ask you, let me ask you, Ivet, because I, I see that you are enjoying this. Está disfrutando esto. Okay? Let me ask you. Could you please count, cuente, you know, count how many, you know, pieces you have? Uh, okay. Count them. Can I see, please? Count them, please. Uh, agárrelo, agárrelo. Ah, thank you. Okay, okay. Yes, eight, grab it. Eight, grab it. Thunder, ¿Cómo se dice pedacito? Pieces. 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 Eight pieces. Eight, 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 eight pieces. Eight pieces. Eight pieces. Piece. Okay. Piece, yes. So one wow. piece, two pieces, three pieces, five pieces. But the spelling, ahorita les comparto la, cómo se escribe pedazo o pedacito. Yes. Pedazo se sí. dice, se escribe piece. Look at the chat. Y pedacito es little piece. piece. Little piece. Little piece. Y pedazos como plural, pieces. Ok. So, let's see. Yvette, let me ask you, how many pieces of paper do you have? Mira el chat, Yvette. El chat de WhatsApp. How many pieces of how paper how do you have? Things? Uh -huh. How many papers do you have? Ah, pero esa es mi pregunta si usted, usted me va a decir la respuesta, okay? So, okay. so how many pieces of paper do you have? So how many? Five, six, one, two. How many? Todo el rollo, the whole roll. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, no lo desperdicie, verdad? <laughs> do not waste it. Do not waste okay. it. Do not waste I, it. I, I have. I have. I have uh, <laughs> too many. <laughs> I have eight pieces of paper. I have, let's see, a look at the chat, a pieces eight. of paper. There we go. You, you got it? Uh, eight, yes. So everyone, look at the chat, you know, look at your cell phones. I'm sharing with you the vocabulary, okay? So, and now let me ask Mr. Angel Martinez, do you have the toilet paper with you, sir? I, I have, uh -huh. I have uh, 10 pieces <laughs> of paper. 10 pieces of paper, okay. <laughs> Okay, you won, you know, you're winning. You're the winner now, okay? <laughs> yeah. Nice. What about you, Janet Morales? <laughs> How many do you have? This, this exercise is a very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so how many pieces of paper do you have, Janet? I have a, a, five, a few uh, pieces of paper. Only five? Five. five. Okay. Only five, yeah. Uh -huh. you, you are smart, you know, you are smart. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, everybody else is smart too. But let me ask uh, Mrs. Maria Gonzalez, how many, okay. how many do you have? <laughs> Three, I, have mm -hmm. I have, I have four, uh, <laughs> four pieces. Pieces of paper. Paper. Oh, Okay, toilet paper. Is right. that it? That's yes. Yeah, she <laughs> she's more economic. She's more economic. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yes. know, you know, we, we estamos en tiempo de crisis. You know, we're on time of crisis. You know, time of crisis. Yes. Over here. <laughs> yes. Okay, but ladies and gentlemen, this is now the purpose of the activity. Okay, no es el propósito de la actividad. You, you're gonna use the toilet paper for a second activity, okay? Yes? So, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to send you, hold on, I'm gonna send you to a separate room, a un cuarto separado, 
Okay, I mean, but don't get me wrong. I'm gonna send you to a group, okay? Groups of three, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send you to a separate room, groups of three, okay? And you're going to use the toilet paper. For example, Yvette, you have seven pieces of paper. Maria, you have four pieces of paper. Yannette, you have five pieces of paper. And then Angel, you have 10 pieces of paper. Is that correct? No. Yes. Yeah, I remember. I remember what you said over here and what you do. Bien, le tengo contada las costillas, vea. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, no se me escapa nada. So, now, for example, Angel, Yvette, and let's say uh, Yannette, are going to work together. Pero lo voy a mandar a un cuarto separado, ¿vea? Suena raro, pero aquí en Zoom, ¿vea? <laughs> but what you're going to do, you're going to use the toilet paper to practice. So, Yvette, you have, let's say, how many do you have? Pieces of paper, seven, right? Eight. Eight pieces. You got eight pieces eight. of paper. I forgot now. So, you're going to say eight things about you or about your family or something that you would like to learn in this class. One more time. O sea, va a utilizar por, ca por cada pedacito de papel va a decir una cosa suya o una cosa de su familia or something like that. Okay? Oh. Yeah. So, which means that Maria Gonzalez will just mention four things about her. Bien suertuda, ¿verdad? And then, Angel, you're gonna say only 10. <laughs> Too many, right? <laughs> Thanks. And so on, okay? Okay. Okay, so let me send you to the uh, specific uh, groups. Assign 14 participants. Let's see. Grupo de tres lo vamos a mandar más o menos. Okay. There we go. Solo le dan a aceptar a la invitación que les va a caer ahí. Just accept the invitation over there, ¿ok? Ya les cayó, no les ha caído, no. No. Ok, so let's see, did you get it? Oh, now you sí. got it. Ya, you got ya, it ya. now? Ya. Yes. Just say yes, click on yes. So remember, talk about you, about your family, and the, the goals that you have, sus metas para esta clase. You know, your goals, your objectives, your expectations, ¿ok? Uh, let's see, move to, there we go. Uh, Mr. David, dele aceptar a la invitación y se une a un, a un grupo, por favor. You should accept it. There we go. Hola, José. Hola, José. Hello, hello. Teacher, hello. Teacher, we need, teacher, I have a question. No uh, se entiende. Now, now, you understood. I have a question, teacher. Uh, basically, we need to uh, write something about uh, also the, or the family, right? In this paper, study paper was one thing, right? Whatever thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Sorry about that. So, Jose, yes, you're right. Write, it, write things about you, about your family, your brother, sister, but then speak, you know, share the things with Mirna and share. You know, things about you with Patricia. But this is a speaking activity, okay? Mm -hmm. So, who starts? ¿Quién comienza? Who starts to speak? I have uh, one so, uh, brother. Okay. And one and two sisters. Mm -hmm. um, they, they live in Guatemala. And... Um, have uh, two nietos, no sé cómo se dice nietos. 
You say grandchildren. 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 Okay, yes. It's, it's. <laughs> Eso. <laughs> okay, thank you. And what, what do you do for a living? Can we know? Are you, uh, uh, what's your occupation? Can we know? Your job, your occupation. Miss Morales. What? What's your occupation, your job? For example, I'm a teacher. What about you? Are you I a am nurse? a student. Okay. But you I mean, you're a student over here, but in real life, what do you do for a living? Can you share it with us? Can you share that with us? ¿Qué hace para vivir? Are you a student? Uh, uh, I have um, a production in Ministerio de Cultura. Okay, so you, you work in the uh, Ministry of, of, of Culture. Okay, thank you. So, who's next? Uh, me, teacher. All right, I, I, I have to go. I need to go to the other break rooms, okay? But continue. Yes, Please. yes, yes. Thank um, you. Okay, I am teacher mathematic. Uh, hello, hello. What is the exercise teacher? Because <laughs> I, we couldn't understand. Okay, uh, this is a speaking activity. Okay, so no writing. So no writing. Okay. No writing. No, no writing. I mean, uh, Noria, usted puede escribir en su papelito, but. For me, it's better if you speak with Gior and with Katia. About what? About you, your personal life, if you want, okay? About your uh, family uh -huh. and your plans, you know, your expectations. For like an plan. introduce. Exactly, like introduce yourself. Okay. Yes, something like that. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so go ahead, please. Okay, so Noria, would you like to first? Will you be first or, or, or no? <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself? Go ahead. Go ahead, Noria. Yeah. Go ahead, Noria. Oh, okay, see no. Sorry. Your. Would you mind? Okay, okay, say it. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, what, can you start, Katia? Go ahead, please. So she can, she can see a, a, an example. So Katia, go ahead, introduce yourself, Katia. Okay, well, my name is Katia Torres. I'm 28 years old. I live in Sonsonate City. I have a bachelor's degree in tourist enterprises management. I'm currently I'm learning English with an academy or I'm attended an academy and also in my spare time I like to take some online courses to learn something new as languages or another thing that allow me to improve myself and okay. personally uh, or professionally and also uh, um, I like to do exercise every day in the afternoon or in the morning and additionally I live with my parents and I'm learning English because I want to get a full English job and I hope to very soon to okay. get it that so that's it all right <laughs> thank you Katia that. yeah that was enough actually you know the whole toilet paper roll <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Uh, you know, I gotta go to uh, to visit another break break room. Okay. 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 Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Noria. Google is my mm -hmm. first hobby, and someday I watch movie, but all, all time, but I like and read oh. the book. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cosa, la verdad. Tengo muchas cosas. 
Me gusta yeah. hacer bastante. Yeah. Ay, I say the same. Yes. I'm, um, I don't read the books. Uh, Special criminals are very, it's very stressful and very dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, My daughter is a, a student sometime, lawyer. This is. Sometime, sometime. I have uh, two children. Because, it's, it's because it's, it's, but it's but you. I, I I take I take when when some people help. Uh, I I I I come in looking for me service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but this is is difficult. I'm sorry, so we're back again. We're back in business, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, so. Fuerte y claro, verdad? Clear, you know. Nice. Yes, so yes. check your check your WhatsApp, please. I just sent to you a material. Check your, don't tell me what it is, please. Don't tell me the name or anything. Just, uh, so open it, please. Open the material, please. <laughs> okay, so no brands, no name of, of stuff over here, okay? So no, something about, no, no, something about it. Yes, what is it about, by the way? What is it about, Angel? Credit cards, student credit cards. It's, about that's correct. Okay. So let, let me uh, tell you something. We're going to go back, okay, to a breakout room, but this time you are going to be practicing in purse, you know, in couples, only two, because it's a conversation. The idea okay. is that is that you practice with your classmates that conversation, which is about credit cards, things that the sister or the brother bought. Okay, like a new stereo, everything. DVD. Yes, like a DVD, for example, or a plane ticket. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we are fourteen participants. So that means that I'm supposed to create seven groups. I have a math teacher over here, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms right now and then practice the conversation. First, listen to the conversation, then practice, speak the conversation, you know, changing rules. Go ahead, please, go ahead. So accept, please, the invitation, mother. So, Gior, uh, accept the conversation, please. Gior, could you please accept the conversation over there?
of Janel Morana. All right, so hello, hello. Es que yo aún no, no, no me había activado en el WhatsApp. Y lo hice, pero no me aparece la conversación. Ok, so let me send it to you, ok? Let me ah, ya la vi. Me... Ahorita se la iba a enviar. ¿no? Ah, vale. Ok. Ok, pero that's the one. Se la envía. Thanks. So, Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. so we only have five minutes, ok? Ok, ok. Bye. So try okay. to practice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Ya lo recibió, verdad, Patricia? Ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Uh -huh. Ahora solo dele. Ya yeah, allí ve. Selección. Sí, ahí está. Bueno, entonces hay que escuchar el audio primero y luego eh, practicar Bye. la conversación. Está bien. Uh -huh. Screen TV. Bought it. And my new DVD player. Hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? I bought it. One recommendation. Listen to the audio individually and then practice, you know, in purse. That's better. Okay? Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. All right, so start practicing, please. Start practicing, everyone. Uh, Mr. Perez, Jose, Mr. Mr. Magaña, start practicing, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. so one is going to be the brother and the other one the sister. So could you pr practice, please, the conversation in there? Okay, I am the one. I'm the one. That's okay. That's okay. So I said, Okay. Going to Hawaii over the school break and of course I need some new clothes for that stuff. I don't want to hear it. How does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds you'll spend yourself in a hole. Anyway, student credit cards just lead to in full spending. As I can see here, and the interest rate Y un nuevo DVD player. Uh -huh. I'm a new DVD player. Surprise, Here surprise. Show. Ajá, Spanish translation. Sí, sí. Estamos entendiéndolo. Ah, It's very fast. I know, but... I, por, por eso tienen ahí el script, ¿verdad? Como el libreto de la conversación. Yes. That's why. Yes. Eh, un, un pequeño quizás como tip, si me permiten. Eh, okay. Si usted mira demasiadas palabras que no entiende, elija, digamos, unas tres para que, que le ayuden a comprender la idea principal. 
porque si no, nos vamos a quebrar la cabeza y al final, el que mucho abarca, poco aprieta. Well, más o menos estamos haciendo eso. But, but right now, right now, right now, let's try to practice. O sea, no importa si no entendemos y que se mire como que sea en chino. Right now, it's just practice. O sea, es fluidez. Okay. Fluidez, la vamos a agarrar. Fluency. It's fluency. Okay. Okay. So, start um, practicing, please. Okay. I, I am ma'am. You woman? Okay. Um, hi, sis. I just come over drop activity. You want and Hey, Wood, where do you get all of this stuff? Mm -hmm. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Stuff. I, I go. I go with, so what, so what do you think of my new impression in, in certain name center and the white screen TV? But it. And my new DVD player, here let me show you my video. You can really walk the house with one. But one. where do you, but where do you get to to buy all this? You didn't borrow money for mom and dad again, did you? Of course not. All right, so hello, hello. So we're back already. Very difficult teacher. Okay, so that's the homework that you have. No la voy a revisar en sí, but you know, you're supposed to practice, you know? That's past tense. And let me tell you this, and I'm gonna tell you this in Spanish. Ese es inglés real. Eso no es inglés sacado de un libro. Es una persona, bueno, la conversación son dos estadounidenses entre comillas, gringos, y tienen una conversación real. So right now we are raising the bar, ¿verdad? Estamos metiéndonos más arriba, because that's the point. ¿Ok? Entonces su tarea va a ser, for tomorrow, obviamente vamos a estar completando la plataforma, ¿verdad? Completémosla, revisémosla, y si tienen dudas me escriben, yo les contesto. But your job is, en un cuadernito, no sé, eh, pueden anotar en su teléfono algo, algo que se llama vocabulario, you know, vocabulary. Y por lo menos tres o cinco palabras de esa conversación, you write it down and you learn, you know, what that means. For example, stuff. If I say stuff, what that means? What is stuff? Stuff. What is, no es uh, cocina. No es, no es, que es co como cosas o algo así. Yes. In Spanish, salvadoreño, we would say, Volado. <laughs> yeah, look, look at that stuff. Oh, that's a nice stuff. Okay. So that's why, you know, stuff like, like a thin stuff in plural. So for tomorrow, you're going to tell me, teacher, these are the three words that I learned in the conversation. Keep on practicing and everything. Okay. So that's going to be the deal. Remember, tomorrow we're going to talk about the simple past. Ahí miraron verbos en pasado, ¿verdad? Like okay. bought, yes. like purchase, right? And everything. Person, so that's perfect. gonna be, yes, it's a mix of everything. But our focus is going to be to talk about the simple past, past tense. So, so on the second episode tomorrow of this, you know, uh, series, called English Corporativo, mode, uh, intermediate level, 
we're going to start talking about the past. Okay? So we'll meet each other in the same channel, the same time, same people over there. Okay? Mm. So the class is over right now. You're free to go. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good night, everyone. You have sweet dreams. Yeah, have sweet dreams. <laughs>